Hello everyone, it's Rad from Radko Tarot and in this whole video uh, we are going to have a look at the experiences in terms of career and relationship that your star sign is going to have throughout the upcoming week, uh, August 10th to uh, August 16th, 2020. <clears throat> and you are into Tarot, probably you do know that Tarot is divided by a major and minor arcana and arcana means knowledge, so anybody can learn um, to, to read Tarot. And uh, if you like the way I read and you want to learn it from me, uh, you can purchase the 12 hours tarot class uh, that uh, I'm offering. And in this class, uh, you are going to be introduced to a four card, very special to me spread because I do use it uh, in almost all of my professional uh, readings because it's amazing. <clears throat> and it's also a uh, major arcana friendly, meaning that you can use just only the uh, the major arcanas with it. Uh, so that spread, uh, that what comes with it, it is the explanation of all the major arcana in terms of all of the positions of the spread and in terms of career and relationship. So pretty much you do have it uh, all covered there. And on top of that, at the end of the class, uh, you are gonna get as well a one hour one-on-one -on -one class with me just so I can make sure that uh, you uh, digested all of the information and you are set to do your own personal and hopefully private readings. The links to the, the <clears throat> I'm sorry, the link to the class is uh, listed down below as well as a link to my website in case you do want to uh, purchase a, a personal uh, reading with me. So that being said, lay back and uh, enjoy the show. Right. So, uh, we do have Leo Sun, Moon, and as well a uh, rising on our hands here. And uh, first thing that we're going to have a look at for you guys, that is going to be your um, love and relationship experiences uh, throughout the week. So let me shuffle the cards and uh, let's see what you got. So the first one... Uh, for you, that is going to be the Knight of uh, Wands, uh, followed by uh, the Four of Wands here at the second position of that spread. Uh, moving next, we do have the Tree of Pentacles, and the last one, uh, that is going to be the Knight of Cups. Well, that's uh, that's quite interesting. So, uh, this uh, reading, uh, it mainly affects those that are currently having a person of interest, but uh, things are not going exactly smooth in between you two. Now, what that really points here with this reading is that there is some kind of an unimportant detail in between you two that uh, it's kind of like either overlooked or pretty much straight away neglected. Uh, no different than you, you know that what, what aggravates that person and you do it anyway. So <clears throat> what really uh, is going to take place throughout the week itself is finding a way how to make the things work in between each other. Now, should you be able to find a way now that will depend entirely on how open you are for a cooperation because that's truly what it's going to take. I mean, you got to make a compromises. They got to make a compromises as well. And everything should go through the, how can I say it, the banner of a... Um, mutual support through the development of the future of the relationship. Oh my God, that sounded so sophisticated. In any case, uh, honesty and the willingness to make compromises from both sides, it is what uh, truly is going to take. Because at the end, we do have the Knights of Cups. And this is really what it comes to, all right? Because the Knights of Cups, it's, uh, especially when we're talking about uh, relationship and love, uh, it's about the dream of one's heart. And at the end of the day, if what the person you are, are kind of having as an interest uh, it cannot cannot offer you the dreams of your heart more or less then why you should even pursuing it and vice versa you know if you cannot offer that person the dreams of their heart then you know why they should invest in you as well that's why it's very important throughout the week to truly talk about those dreams and those uh, well the not imaginations but like um, hopes that you do have a uh, for the future. Now, those that are into already established relationship, now those energies that we do have here with uh, these uh, four cards does uh, talk 
or rather like does predispose to a lot of open conversations about the problems that you both may have in between each other regardless of how big problem how big the problems are or how sophisticated the plights are and it is very very likely that you are going to find a way through those uh, problems so if your uh, relationship or your marriage is on the rock you can expect a significant improvement uh, throughout the week itself and after that things are going to move forward with a rather calm and really consistent a uh, fashion those that are entirely single and they don't have a person of interest we can only uh, stop the reading here with the knights of wands which represents a truly enterprising and kind of handsome person you know that is going to come into your awareness but uh, you have to take your time and truly reconnoiter if you will and research about the person because they may not turn out to be what you truly want <clears throat> so uh, that being said let's move next to uh, your career and see what you got guys Right, so, oh, first one, we do have the full card. Moving next, uh, that is going to be the Eight of Pentacles. That's pretty common, by the way, those two to come up like this in that particular spread. Uh, followed by uh, the next one, which is the Five of Swords. And the last one we do have for you, Leo, in terms of a career, that is going to be the Five of Cups. So uh, that week in terms of career, it will be all about you trying stuff around or messing with things around, if you will, because the full card when it comes to career does um, kind of manifest itself in a, a creative chaos when one is tackling with things that are completely new for them, which could be uh, a new project or a completely, completely new job that you have no clue whatsoever how you have to tackle with it uh, and how to how you should perform uh, in generally. And that is pretty much described by the by the uh, Eight of Pentacles into the second position showing that uh, you have no eye for the subtleties there you have no clue about what the de how the details should be under uh, undertaking nor a plan how you should proceed forward nor you need it okay because the fool needs to be open for everything new all right the the, the, the fool needs to kind of like have that freedom of spirit and uh, eagerness to like I said try and experiment with things around because what you're gonna do through all that is make your career and your job a muse and an art and everybody is going to be a, a, um, inspired by it uh, that being said, I cannot say that you are going to be able to win a lot of followers in there into your career field, but you are going to be liked by quite of a, a few people. I, I could say a lot of people as well. And the fact that we do have the Five of Swords into the, uh, into the third position, that's um, in that particular narrative, very interesting card there. It kind of speaks for the look of the draw in a sense of the look of the beginner. Okay, that's regardless how bad it is, you you still will be able to triumph at the end. Uh, although some people may think that you do not deserve the credit, but nonetheless, the credit is going to be yours. Uh, and at the end, what we do have is the Five of Cups and... Um, it's pretty diminished. The negative impact of this card is pretty diminished here. Uh, it does speak that some of the things that you are to face, or rather, like um, it does speak for the uh, results. I'm sorry. So some of the results that you're gonna have at the end of the week, uh, you might have thought that you're gonna do it better, 
but nonetheless it is what it is and it's very important when you do have five of cups regardless of the situation is it about career or is it about relationship you should just chew it down okay gnash your feet and move forward because the five of cups is about a just temporary loss or a uh, insignificant disappointment that will have no impact whatsoever on a future unfoldment and that is a confirmation that you should not deviate from the path that you have chosen meaning the job that you are working or the project that you are involved into and needless to say here those who are jobless huge huge chances guys to find a job in this week so that being said leo this was your weekly tarot readings guys uh, love and uh, career hopefully you do enjoy them and you do like them and with that being said we're going to see each other next time until then bye